Artemis 1 is coming back home from the moon. As NASA gets ready for the Artemis 1 splashdown, we are speaking with Najud Morancy, Chief of the Exploration Mission Planning Office at NASA's Johnson Space Center. So, how's Artemis 1 and Orion doing so far? Artemis 1 and Orion have been phenomenal, right? Really, we're, this whole point, purpose of this mission was to validate that we designed the rocket and the spacecraft right, and it's exceeding expectations. Um, to the point we were actually adding objectives with Orion in distant retrograde orbit just to collect even more data. So um, it's been going phenomenally well so far. That's great. And uh, what did you think when you saw the images that Orion was capturing of the moon over the past few weeks? Uh, the images have been fantastic. Just seeing Orion with the moon there, right? We've been dreaming about this for years and it's actually happening. So seeing the images come back with Orion, the moon and earth all together, um, it's our family portrait. Um, and it's pretty fantastic. And um, how are you getting ready for Splashdown? Uh, so right now, actually, a lot of uh, we, we've, my team is focused on the next few missions. So the, really, it's just um, doing our regular day jobs. But it's uh, there's going to be a viewing party here at Johnson on Sunday to watch it happen. So I'll be bringing the family um, and we'll be here to celebrate like everyone else. That's wonderful. And then um, just speaking to that point, you know, how are you going to be assessing the success of Artemis 1 to get ready for the rest of the program? Yeah, so the success is judged by how well we met the objectives of the mission. Uh, the number one objective actually was the high speed entry and the landing that we're doing on Sunday. Um, with that accomplished, then we'll be able to start checking everything off. Um, but then all of the data recorded during the mission, the engineers and um, the teams will be going back through it to make sure that it matched our predictions. Um, and that's really uh, the forward plan that happens after that. And then Artemis 2 is going to be bringing up some people. And so when are we? When can we expect to hear more about that? So Artemis 2, yes, it'll be our first crewed flight. And so this one was uncrewed, that one's crewed. So we add the life support, the environment, our control systems. Um, and we really actually, for the crew, get to demonstrate how they're going to live and work in Orion in the future. So that mission we're, we're hoping to launch by 2024. And that will be carrying our crew out to the moon. Um, we've already finished the mission design for it. So, you know, we're, we're planning and working way out in front of these missions um, because there's just so much to do.